This spring I decided that it would be good for my students to have a challenge that would be meaningful, relevant to the things that are going on in their society and specifically the environment. So I gave them an assignment to create some what we call street puppets that can go out and parade and march in demonstrations if that's where you want to use them, but somehow create a visually meaningful image that communicates concern for the environment. And so that was their assignment and they decided what they wanted to do, what they wanted to come up with, and today we saw the outcome of that. Today was a practice for a real march that'll take place in Portland in two days, so they'll adjust their sculptures and they'll make them uh, stronger wherever they need to be engineered. They see the problems today and they'll make those alterations. Art is an expression of self. And uh, this particular art project, since it's a group project, it's an expression of how we as a society can be responsive with art. Uh, this is our environmental activism sculpture for our uh, sculpting studies class. Uh, this is a, it's a foam head over paper mache and chicken wire. What we've done is a uh, gagged environmental scientist. Our agencies, EPA and the National Park Service, can't talk about climate science anymore on their public media sites. So this is our protest piece for, uh, you know, even though it, the slogan is Make America Great Again, uh, silencing science does not make America great. For this project, we had a team of three working on it, and all of our spare time between classes, we've been down here working on this, getting it to be effective. So I'm currently standing next to a part of a three-piece puppet for the climate march coming up in Portland. Um, it is a hazmat suit, he's wearing a gas mask, and this is the spray can that is going to be spraying our fabricated earth. Most of my group, we were really thrilled to be able to bring awareness to something that's very commonly overlooked. Ours is not necessarily pointed towards the bee issue with all the pesticides killing off of our honeybees, but it was in that general area. So you may have also noticed the fish I'm standing next to. This was actually um, fabricated by three of our professors here at Wu, and this kind of shows how much we are really working through the community. So we actually took this to the Science March for Earth Day up in Portland last weekend. Just another example of us bringing some life into just a normal community event. Art is an expression of self. It's an expression of how we as a society can be responsive with art. What I really like about the art program here at WU is that I'm already getting to express my um, artistic craft through this march and the march we had last weekend. I'm proud of these guys and what they accomplished today and I'm proud of the response that they got from people just in the street out in the university uh, sidewalks. People responded that saw the work. That's what art should always do, make people think.